hello everyone and welcome back to another adobe illustrator tutorial so today we are going to create this glitch text effect in adobe illustrator so let's start the video first let's remove this text effect so we can start from scratch the font i'm using for this text effect is gotham and the font size will be 180 point Let's center this to the artboard. Click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel. Here click on this icon add new fill. Next let's go to gradient panel apply a default black and white gradient and here change the angle to 90. Next go to appearance panel and let's duplicate this layer. I will we'll create a three copies of this layer now select our first layer and let's change the color I'll select this black point and I'll change the color of this point to white next I'll select this second layer then again go to gradient panel and change the color to red again go to appearance panel select this last layer Again, go to the gradient panel and change the color to this RGB cyan color. So we have these three layers and now select our first white layer, duplicate this. Then select this red layer, duplicate this and select this RGB cyan layer and duplicate this. So first select our white layer and then go to gradient panel select this point change the opacity to zero and change the location to 50.1 percent now select this point change the location to 50 percent next go to appearance panel select this second white layer then go to gradient panel now select this point change the opacity to zero change the location to 50 percent now select this point change the location to 50.1 percent next go to appearance panel now select this first red layer then go to gradient panel select this a white point change the opacity to zero and change the location to 50.1 percent now select this red point and change the location to 50 percent next go to appearance panel now select this second red layer then go to gradient panel here select white point change the opacity to zero change the location to 50 percent now select this red point change the location to 50.1 percent again go to appearance panel now select this cyan layer then go to gradient panel select this white point change the opacity to zero change the location to 50.1 now select this cyan color and change the location to 50 percent again go to appearance panel select this last layer then go to gradient panel select this five point change the location to 50 percent change the opacity to zero now select this point and change the location to 50.1 percent next go to appearance panel now we'll move these layers one by one next select our first layer and then go to effect distort and transform and transform here in move section apply a minus 10 pixel horizontal value 
then click OK. Next, select this red layer. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. Here in Move section, apply a minus 15 pixel horizontal value, then click OK. Next, select this layer, then go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. Here in Move section, apply a minus 5 pixel horizontal value, then click OK. Next, select this red layer, then go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. And here in Move section, apply a 5 pixel horizontal value, then click OK. Next, select this layer, then go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. Here in Move section, apply a minus 5 pixel horizontal value, then click OK. So here is our glitch text effect. Now let's create more glitches. Now select our first layer, then duplicate this layer, keep selecting this layer, then go to gradient panel, apply a default black and white gradient, select this point, and change the color of this point to background color. Now select this point, Again, change the color of this point to background color and let's change the location of these points. Select this point and move this to 59%. Now select this point and move this to 61%. Now create another point on this right side and one on left side. Change the opacity of this point to 0 and also select this point and change the opacity of this point to 0. Now move this point to 58.9 and move this point to 61.1. Next go to appearance panel, click on this arrow then click on transform and here let's change the values for horizontal we'll apply a minus 25 pixel and for vertical we'll apply a 13 pixel then click ok next let's duplicate this layer and then we'll go to gradient panel let's change the color of this layer to default black and white and let's change the color of these points to this cyan color and again let's change the location of these points to 33% and this one to 35% let's add another point here 81% add one more point at 83% create one point here change the opacity 0 create one point here change the opacity to 0 create one point here and change the opacity to 0 create one here and change the opacity to 0 next move this point to 32.9 and this point to 35.1 select this point 80.9 select this point 83.1 again go to appearance panel click on this arrow then click on transform and here we'll only change the vertical value to 25 and then click ok 
next keep selecting this layer duplicate this layer again go to the gradient panel apply a default black and white gradient and let's change the color of this point to red and let's change the location of these points 33 percent 35 percent add another, another point to 81 percent one more point to 83 percent add one here and change the opacity to zero one here and change the opacity to zero one here and change the opacity to zero one more here and change the opacity to zero now select this point and change the location of this point to 32.9 select this point change the location to 35.1 now select this point change the location to 80.9 select this point and change the location to 83.1 next go to appearance panel click on this arrow then click on transform and here change the vertical value to 15 pixel and the horizontal value to 25 pixel then click OK next select this layer duplicate this layer again go to the gradient panel apply a default black and white gradient select this black point and change this to white and let's change the location of these points to 24% and this one to 23% add one point here and change the opacity to 0 add one here and change the opacity to 0 select this point and change the location to 22.9 select this point and change the location to 24.1 next go to appearance panel and then click on this arrow then click on transform and here in move section we need minus 25 pixel horizontal and 10 pixel for vertical then click ok next keep selecting this layer and duplicate this layer next go to gradient panel and apply a default black and white gradient select this black point change the color to white and let's change the location to 46 percent and select this point and change the location to 45 percent add one more point here and change the location to 89 add one more here and change the location to 90 90 percent create one point here and change the location to 44.9 and change the opacity to zero create one here change the opacity to zero one more here and change the opacity to zero one on this side and change the opacity to zero let's select this point and change the location to 46.1 now select this point and change the location to 88.9 now select this point and change the location to 90.1 percent next go to appearance panel click on this arrow then click on transform and in horizontal in move section for horizontal value we need a 12 pixel and for vertical I'll go with 0 pixel then click OK so here is our final text effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching